Over the years, PowerPoint has introduced a number of different tools that allow us to enhance our presentations and make them more stimulating. Generally, some of the worst presentations I've ever seen are ones that completely neglect these tools and focus instead on very text-heavy slides. I mean, does anyone really read all of those really dense text-heavy slides? I, I mean, I don't. I try. And it's not for lack of trying, it's simply difficult to focus on. So Microsoft has provided a number of different tools that make it easier for us to jazz things up. Of course, we've been able to insert pictures for years now. And it's gotten better as we've been able to add smart art, charts, and all of these visual aspects are great. But maybe I'd like something a little bit more dynamic. Well, in 2016, I've got my wish. Microsoft has implemented a tool known very simply as screen recording. I can actually record a portion of the action on my screen and paste it directly into a PowerPoint presentation. So in this slide here, the question is, who is Sean Bugler? And you might be asking yourself that exact same question. Well, I'll give you a hint. He's really good looking, and you're listening to his voice right now. So maybe we'd like to inject that bit into our PowerPoint presentation. And fortunately for me, I have access to a web page that illustrates very nicely who it is that I am and what it is that I do. I'm going to need to engage the screen recording tool. And when I do, PowerPoint hides itself and it reveals whatever was last on my screen. In this case here, a blog for a company that I happen to work for. The first thing I'm going to do is select an area of the screen that I'd like to record. In this case, I'll go ahead and record this small portion right here. Note that the screen is not going to be frozen here when I start recording. Once I've selected the area that I'd like to record, I'm going to go ahead and do just that. And it gives me this countdown here. So now I can show this aspect of the screen right here. And scroll down. And again, the only portions of this that are being recorded are the areas that are inside of that checkered box. And there it is at the bottom. Sean Bugler is an instructor at Learned who specializes in desktop class application usage. So I think that sums up pretty nicely who I am, and it also gives a little bit of insight into some of the content that I've produced. When I'm done, I'm simply going to do the keyboard shortcut of Shift, Windows key, Q, and check that out. It's actually been injected into my presentation. Notice once again that it only recorded the area that I selected. If I'd like, I can play it. So now I can show this aspect of the screen right here, and scroll down. And again, the only portions of this that are being... And I see that all of it, including audio, if you can hear it, has been recorded and injected into my PowerPoint presentation. This can be a really quick and easy way to display content without having to work too hard at it. Because now we have the ability to produce these videos inside the program. It's a really cool feature and one that is very welcome in the Office 2016 package.